Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another edition of Paradigm Shift in Educational Comedy. Um, we're taught by society that when we personally dislike something, to express it as nobody likes. Nobody likes that movie. Nobody likes that video. Nobody likes that book. Nobody likes what you have to say. Nobody likes. Besides being a classic case of textbook psychology, it's also a bit of an oxymoron. If it requires somebody to exist to be able to take an action or have a thought on something, and nobody is the opposite of somebody, then how does nobody likes even make any sense anyways? <clears throat> I think that this comes from the idea that society teaches us that, oh, you're weak, you're nothing, you're nobody. You can't stand on your own. You're not allowed your opinion. You're not credible. You don't even have any right to speak. Who are you? Sit down. Shut up. Don't make waves. So when we're in that mindset, we have to say then out of our own insecurities and psychological projections, we're all guilty of doing this from time to time, that, oh, nobody likes that. Because then we're acting as if we're being backed up by an invisible majority, a false sense of somebody being there, you know, a false sense of credibility. When, you know, even science knows that um, absence of evidence is not uh, evidence of absence. And besides, usually when we're screening nobody likes it's because just in our personal opinion and yeah we the only person we can really speak for is ourselves in our personal opinion we think that something is completely lame so you know because we're entitled to our opinion of thinking that something's completely lame you know we're using that psychological projection to act as if we're some high and mighty authority about it psychologically projecting our own inferiority complex. And let's face it, just because something's lame doesn't mean that nobody likes it. I mean, my God, how many of those, like, you know, little 45-second YouTube videos that, like, after you watch it, you're like, oh, my God, what the fuck was that? And it's like 45 seconds of my life. I am never getting back. What the hell? That was, oh, that's just fucking stupid. God. But people love that shit. And like they share it and it goes freaking viral. So even though it's lame as fuck, it doesn't mean that quote unquote nobody likes it. In fact, it almost seems counterintuitive. But even if a, a majority of people do like it, or excuse me, do dislike it, they tend to like that they dislike it. And they love how lame it is, and therefore they make it go viral. Makes no sense whatsoever, but there it is anyway. Welcome to Earth. Um, then, like, you know, if you look at, like, the list of all the disgusting, nasty sexual fetishes that are out there, and I mean the stuff that, like, a one-sentence description, like, you know, has your stomach queasy and you want to go, like, bend over the garbage can and lose your lunch and shit. Like, there are so many people that are are into that completely disturbing, nasty, ew. And, well, either they're a bunch of nobodies or somebody actually does like that completely disturbing, yucky ew, stuff that makes the rest of us want to lose our lunch. And, hey, let's face it, maybe Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy is some of the lamest freaking videos to ever hit the net. I can neither prove nor disprove that. But, obviously, somebody likes what we're doing here. I get told about it all the time, just like I get told about how, oh, nobody likes your stuff, and you need to shut up, and blah, blah, blah. It's like... Well, I respect the right to their opinion, but remember, even though you're allowed your opinion of thinking that nobody likes it, that is still just your opinion, and the only person you can speak for is you. And we all suffer from that bit of pathology, that little 
bit of malignant narcissism as per the societal collective Stockholm syndrome that we're taught to keep ourselves caught in as we actually defend our abusers we we defend society the very society that when we're not defending it we're bitching about it we're going oh my god it's so not fair this law is unconstitutional and, and that teacher treated me wrong and that cop was an asshole and and oh i don't agree that the that you know it seems that the media is trying to get people to believe this or that and blah 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 i don't like that i that's unfair yet when it when it suits our ego we will support and defend that very enslavement that and the rest of the time we're bitching about and we don't even realize our own hypocrisy so just wanted to put that out there just as um as food for thought because i've noticed that's that's a pretty common one and um i've been guilty of doing that from time to time and these days i do my best not to not to do that because I just now know what an oxymoronic pile of, of logical fallacy fucking shit it is. So I do my best to try not to do that these days. But yeah, I've been guilty of it. We've all been guilty of it. That's just the way society programs us how to be. But once we realize that, you know, that's an opportunity to look at that and decide, you know, I think I'm not going to do that anymore. So yeah, just wanted to put this out there as a topic because. It, it's a pretty common one so um feel free to like subscribe you know put your comments below whatever and um share the video on social media um tell us how much you like it tell us how lame you think it is tell us about how just nobody wants to hear you fucking say this on PSAC. my god dave shut up only a bunch of nobodies watch your channel. Nobody wants to hear your bullshit day. Shut up. You're lame. Fuck you. Shut up. Later.